Hey guys, Namaste and welcome to our YouTube channel, Twitter Prati. Today, we are going to learn how to add menus and submenu in our blogger normal default themes. While we use a new blogger theme that supports the blogger underscore feature. That's why we can create the menus and submenus very easily. And if you want to know how to install the new blogger templates and creating menus and submenus in it, you can watch our previous video. I also added the link of that video in this i button. As we know that the default blogger templates do not support the underscore feature that can be used to create menus and submenus. So we have to manually add that underscore feature inside our blogger normal thing. So in this video, we are going to learn how to activate or add the underscore feature in this blogger's normal theme. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do subscribe our YouTube channel and press the bell button that it could be notified whenever we publish our new video. So let's start today's session. In normal blogger themes, we can add the menus in two ways. The first method of adding menus of our pages. For this, on our layout, click on Add Gadget and find the pages and click on this plus button. Then you can add your pages as your menu. Like I have one extra about us page. So when I click on this about us, it will be added on our list other. If you want to add more menus in this, we have to create the pages. Then on the layout, click on this pages and click on this contact us page. Then save it. Now I have the three menus listed in my blog. These pages widgets can be used only for the pages that we have. But when we need custom menu names, we can use another widget instead of using these pages. For this, on our layout, click on Add the Gadget, then find the link list and click on this plus sign. Now, on this link list, we will give a menu name on this new site name box like Films and on this new site URL, we will give the link for this menu Films. For now, I am just going to use Have as a link. Now, click Add Link. In this way, we can add the menu names as per our requirement, like books, music, and also we can arrange our menu names as per our requirement, just clicking this up and down arrow buttons. And for navigation, I am using this link list. By using this link list widget, we can create custom menu as per our requirement for our blogger. Now for adding the sub menus inside these menus, first of all we have to activate the underscore feature in this normal blogger templates. For adding the underscore feature on normal blogger templates, we have a scripts. In the script file, we have three blocks of codes. One is for jQuery, second is one for CSS codes, and third one we have the JavaScript codes. But before we make some changes in our theme codes, we have to take backup of our theme. For this, click on the themes and then on your right top side, click on this backup and restore. Now click on the download theme. Then if you made some mistakes on your template code, you can revert back it again in your normal speed by uploading this backup file and restore it. Now let's go to the edit HTML. Then on first, let's add our first code. Just copy our first code and on our template code, just after our head tag, paste it that code. Now for adding our second CSS code, inside this code editor, press Ctrl F and search this closing tag. Here we are now at our CSS coding section. Now copy our second CSS codes. Then paste it our second code just before our closing tab. Now for adding our third code, click on this jump to widget and then click on this link list one. 
Now we are in this link list widget section. So here we can find that B section started here and just after it we can see the closing B section. So we have to select this B section starting to the ending B section. At this section be careful that do not select another code except this B section codes. So just select this B section starting to the closing B section and delete it. Now in this place we are going to paste our third code. Just copy our third code and then paste it here. Now for saving our code changes, click on this save theme. After saving our theme, click on layouts. Now click on the refresh page and reload. Now we just removed the previous code and added our new code. Our this minus will be gone. But don't worry, now our theme is activated for underscore feature. So we can use the underscore for creating menus and submenus. And inside our layout, you can find that we have new widget added, navigation menu by Twitter Pratik, link list. So by using this new widget, we will create the menus and submenus. So for creating the menus and submenus, click on this edit. Then create some menus. Now we can see that in our blog we have three main menus. Now we have to create the sub menus inside these main menus. For this, click on this link list widget and then on our new site name box, type underscore for creating the sub menu and give the sub menu name like Hollywood. And on our new site URL box, we will give a link for this sub menu like search slash level slash Hollywood. Similarly, let's create another sub menu underscore Hollywood and on the URL box type slash search level Hollywood. Now let's arrange our sub menu just below its main menu. Then save it. Now let's refresh our blog. Now when I over my mouse on these films, we can get our sub menus. So it shows that our underscore feature has successfully added in our normal blogger template. Similarly, we can create the menus and the sub menus by using this underscore. In this way, by adding the script codes inside the normal blogger templates codes, we can activate the underscore feature on our templates. That's all for today. We will come back soon with new interesting videos. Until then, take care. Goodbye.